So if you want to be perfectly on plane in your backswing with this left arm, the club shaft, your shoulders all matching up, just like you see with the pros, Ronnie Snowden, certified top speed golf instructor, and I are going to break down a perfect drill for that. Also, if you're looking from face on here, if this lead arm starts to collapse, you get that bent, and all of a sudden this is folding down, this is going to be perfect video for that too. So let's start out, Ronnie, with just the arms across the shoulders. I'll, I'll hold the club for now. Okay. Arms across the shoulders. Just turn until you're facing that wall there. This would be like a complete backswing, your 90 degree shoulder turn. I might even add in there, if we want to get a little tilt over that right side, now we'd be in the posture, tilted away slightly from the target like we would be in the golf swing. If you can do this, you can do the drill. Make sure that your hips are rotating. Make sure you're okay to move your knees and your feet a little bit. Don't keep your lower body locked or you won't be able to get in this good turn. If you can get a little past this even, that would be even better. That's like bonus, right? But if you can get at least to there, you're gonna do this drill, or this drill great. Number two would be, let's go back to standing up again, straight up and down. Let's just take our left hand out in front of us like we're gonna just punch straight forward, flat back of the left hand, which we're gonna get to in a minute how important that is for the grip. And then the exact same thing there. The only difference is as you turn to the end of the backswing here, level with the ground, so we're straight up and down, we're gonna see if we can get this arm while it's staying straight to about in front of the right shoulder. Again, go back as far as you can comfortably, and that's as far as you need to go here. This is probably a three quarters to seven eighths length backswing drill. That's totally fine. We're gonna get all your angles good, and then you just make a little farther back and further through. So you don't feel like you have to strain when you're doing this one. Now, a common mistake here would be bending this left arm. So if I'm folding this up, I don't wanna do that. I wanna really feel like I'm extending that left arm out until it's completely locked. Yeah, so if you're someone who does struggle to keep that arm straight in the backswing, this is a great drill. And by someone, he means like 99% of golfers because that is difficult for most players, but it's because of the shoulder turn. It's actually not from, this feels comfortable, right? Yeah. Yeah, so let's go back again, and we're just gonna add another piece to it to where we go here, and then go ahead and take your grip as though you're gonna be holding a golf club, so the palm of your hand will be up toward the sky, and again, the important piece is the back of this left hand is kind of flat with the ground there. And then we're gonna go right back in the same position again. That's gonna be perfectly on plane. Sometimes I'll see players that really wanna get the club way up here. That's gonna be a little too high to be on plane. Some players wanna bring it way down here where it's below the shoulders. That's too low, it's gonna be a very short, you're just not gonna get a lot of speed when you're doing that. So here is where we wanna be. Now, if we've done that correctly, all we need to do is grab a club. Let's do the same thing, a drill again where we take club in front of us. So take your normal grip, then you're gonna put the hands up just like you've done here. Make sure that the club head is level with the shoulders and the arms here. And then when he's just gonna rotate that back on a single plane, you wanna make sure that this is all straight in line with the shoulders. This is really gonna be out away from your body here. And for me, this really stands out to me. What do you see with this right arm in particular with most of your students? Usually it's bent. Yeah, when you start to fold that up, so go ahead and fold one up again with that right arm. It gets the hands close to your body. I almost imagine like there's a pole from your chest out to the grip, and that has a pretty good amount of length, and you're keeping the width in there. This is what Tiger Woods worked on with Butch Harmon a lot. Lots of great players keep this width. They don't fold up. That's how you keep the left arm straight. The right arm is gonna feel like it's a mile away from your body. Believe it or not, that's right. That's how you're gonna get the good, good width in the backswing. And then from there, all we're gonna do is simply hinge forward into our posture. We can get it a little bit higher here like that. Now you see everything's perfectly on plane. This is the swing that everybody wants here, and all you had to do is follow this progression. Then from there, let's go back down to a dress again, and just try to make a backswing where you get into that same position to where you just feel the same things you felt in that drill. Yeah, exactly. And like I said, this is gonna be a little three-quarter swing. Good shoulder turn, nice width, club's perfectly on plane. Doesn't have to be all the way back to parallel for this. We're gonna nail this piece, and then once we get this down, we can go ahead and start to add more and more speed to it. So, do you have anything to add there as far as any positions that you think you see your students when you're working with a drill like this that maybe feel a little bit new to them or anything that, you Well, know? I mean, just the, the width. I mean, so many of my students, the club, their arms, they have that club so much closer to their body and they, they're not getting that width. They're not getting as much of that shoulder turn and that width away from their body. That just means so much for, you know, just 
having a, a much more consistent swing to yep. have that width. Yeah, I like that. And a lot of times what'll happen when we don't have that width, everything folds up. All of a sudden we start to arm it and then zero shoulder turn, our distance goes out the window. Ronnie was sitting some before this after doing that drill and hit you know three, four miles an hour faster. And there you're saying, yeah, well, when I do this, you know, I get sloppy too. I, I, I don't feel like turning my shoulders is a little bit more, feels like a little bit more work than all of a sudden I look at the ball and it's going 10 yards farther. So doing a drill like this is good, whatever level you're at. If you're a beginner golfer all the way up to a tour pro, you know, something like this can be, can be really, really handy. Yeah. Now, the next step to this that I'd highly recommend is gonna be getting some more lag. So here we got this width. Let's learn to get that club to lag in the downswing and release that lag, just like you're seeing with all the pros. And I have a great video for you. It's gonna pop up over here on the side of your screen. All you need to do is click on it. You're really gonna enjoy the tips that I have in there. I got a couple secrets for you that you may have never heard before on how to get a ton of lag in your golf swing. So best of luck, and I'll see you in the next video.